The clip we're about to listen to is from Tom Lee of Funstrat, who has been having a very, very impressive record over the past two to three years. And right now he's bullish on a sector that no one's been talking about for about one to two to three years. And in fact, he's thinking that we could see upwards of a 40% rally by the end of this summer. Obviously, time's ticking. I'm very interested in the future to play back and see if he's right or wrong. But it's worthwhile to listen to because he's had very, very good call outs. Next guest does say that this Friday's inflation data will likely shift the odds higher of a July and September rate cut, supporting the summer of small caps, as he said. Joining us here at Post 9 is small Tom Lee, cap Global summer. Advisors, head of research and a CNBC contributor. Tom, it's great to have you. Great to see you. Um, you want to start with what the, ele the political news or the economic news? What's more important to you, do you think? Uh, you know, in the short term, it's the political news. Uh, but really, in the longer term, especially into year end, it's actually the economic news. Explain why. Well, in the short term, markets are very sensitive to, especially the sector level, depending on whether it's a Republican or Democratic taking the White House in November, and then especially all the uh, congressional elections and state elections. So uh, I think that's what you're, you saw last week is as, as shifts as probably shifted towards Trump, small caps, industrials, financials rally. And you're sticking with that call. Just so uh put a, a more emphasis on that. The Trump trade, which you've probably heard before, is an additional benefit to small cap, as in the Russell. For those of you who don't know, the Russell 3000 is basically the top 3000 stocks. The bottom 2000 of the said 3000 is the Russell 2000. So on top of the Russell 2000 is the Russell 1000. And within that, that's where you're gonna find the NASDAQ 100, the S&P 500, uh, the Dow 30, you're gonna find the S&P 400 mid cap. So really, we look at the top 3000, the bottom 2000 of the top three is the Russell 2000. And that's where Tom Lee and many people think is not only the Trump trade, but the trade that's gonna benefit from the switch in monetary policy. And to better explain that, that's the rotation of the Fed fund rate being at 5.25%. And most likely by September of this year, we're gonna start getting rate cuts. And when the Fed fund rate falls, people are very much predicting a rotation into small cap. And the reason for that is small businesses, small cap businesses are the ones that are in most need of capital. So when capital becomes cheaper, who's it going to benefit? It's going to benefit small cap. For what, 40% over 10 weeks? Yeah, I, I, the, the overlap is small caps are very sensitive to a Fed cut. Yes. And really the probability of a Fed cut, you know, that, that it's finally happening. And I think it's going to look like the October to December 2023 rally, which was almost 30%. This one should be bigger because of the, the amount of short positioning and, and the amount of oversold in the Russell. So yeah, 40% by the end of the summer. I, I just want to dig into it. Does it make sense that tech, that NVIDIA and Tesla and Microsoft and Apple and Meta should be outperforming as the odds rise for a, a Democratic victory? Uh, some of that, it's, in a day-to-day, -day, it could be noise because last week you had the biggest down week for the NASDAQ in quite a long time. So I think there is a bit of a dead cat bounce. But to me, um, I agree with you. I don't think that the fangs are necessarily a, 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 a Kamala Harris, you know, taking the White House trade. But there is some evidence of the fading of the Trump trade, as you mentioned. Russell's underperforming, Bitcoin weaker today, financials are lower, so are energy stocks. Very quickly, those comments are based on when this was first filmed and he's referring to the noise. Since then, Bitcoin's up. Since then, the Russell's up. So that was true at the moment this was exactly filmed. But fast forward a couple of weeks and it's once again, as Tom Lee was referring, sometimes you just have noise. Like you could have a crazy bull market and yet you could have one bearish week, that type of a thing. So when you're saying noise, it's that short term movement that m might not really matter at all. Uh, you know, the, the sell-off for the Russell started in the middle of last week. It's down almost 5%. Uh, it is a mirror image of what happened in October. After that first week rally, you had a 5% decline over eight trading days. And then you had essentially a 25% rally for seven weeks without a drawdown. I, I, I'm not sure that's any different today. Is your longstanding optimism about deflation really changing at all? Do you expect any surprises on Friday? Uh, I mean, you know, one print can be uncertain, but I think the forces underway for inflation to fall like a rock are in place. I mean, the reality is there's a durables recession. It's in housing, and now it's in autos. That's like 60% of the CPI basket is 
in a decline until the Fed really injects confidence by cutting. And so I, I think there is urgency for Fed cuts to happen sooner. But at the same time, I think the effect on inflation is there isn't another incremental driver for new inflation. So inflation, I think, is going to surprise to the downside, and hopefully it's Friday. Energy, same story. He was I know actually got right on that call futures. out. Lowest in a few weeks, and we broke 80 today on WTI. Brent's below the 200A. Yeah, I, I think energy's a tough trade in the near term because as long as oil's under pressure, I'm not sure I want to be overweight energy stocks. And if there's drilling under Trump, that's downside pressure to oil. But over the next three to five years, I think energy's a great investment. But I think this year, it's it's not really going to be the spotlight for us. There you have it from Tom Lee very much a legend on Wall Street, basically saying, hey, this is a small cap summer, looking for quite the rally. Obviously, at the end of the summer, we'll be able to realize if he was wrong or right, but I don't think his thesis is that bad. In fact, I actually really, really like it.